Bonjour YouTube, hello YouTube. Welcome to this video which will walk you through how to set your computer language and your keyboard so that you can very easily type um, French, Spanish, other Romance languages on a laptop. You can reach me at any of these different places here and I'd be happy to support you and help you through this process. So this walkthrough will work seamlessly for any Windows-based software or application that uses a computer or a laptop. So you can use it in any of the Microsoft Office um, applications or programs. Um, you can use it for Gmail. You can use it for surfing the web. Um, you can type accents into pretty much anywhere with this method. So part one is setting up your computer language to US International. Your laptop will come set standard for just straight US or UK or the uh, language that you've purchased your laptop in. Um, but note that if you change your um, language setting while you have applications open, those changes won't take effect until you close it and reopen it. And um, this is a walkthrough for Windows 10. So uh, follow the steps on these following slides and you should be golden. First of all, click Start right down here. Then you will select Settings right here. In your settings window, you'll have these various options. You will choose time and language, speech, region, and date. Once you uh, head in there, you're gonna want to choose region and language right here. As an optional thing, you can add a language. You can add all sorts of languages so that your computer will easily recognize and work with those. Um, I've done that because I work with multiple languages, but um, that's an optional thing. To do that, you would uh, Click here, add a language, and then you would scroll to find the language of your choice and just click add or select that. For changing your computer keyboard, um, at the bottom of the uh, languages window, you will uh, notice right down here that you have additional date, time, and regional settings. That's what you want to select here. Then you want to select change input methods. Obviously the input method is you typing your keys and getting particular accents or letters out of those keys. So click options next to the uh, English um, that you have selected. Either it'll be US or UK or whichever is installed on your computer. Choose add an input method right here. Then you'll need to scroll down and uh, you can use that right on the side here. You'll find eventually the QWERTY uh, US International Touch Keyboard Layout. Um, then click Add at the bottom. Once you've selected the QWERTY up here, then your ad will uh, be clickable and you can add that language. Again, um, to make it simpler for you, you can actually opt to then remove uh, the standard US keyboard. So the only one you have is the US International. That's what I've done and I find that works seamlessly for me. So eventually you can go on to check um, your settings um, at the bottom of your screen and you will see that um, you'll have various settings you can choose from. I have English and French installed on my computer um, but you might have others that you've added. So that's right down here. You can always change your language preferences by just checking the, uh, clicking on the settings wheel here and go back to the windows that you've just seen. So that Part two is how to type these accents. You'll find that it is very straightforward. Uh, no more function number lock and alt and all sorts of zero one threes and one three fives and, and all of that stuff. Uh, no more insert symbol in PowerPoint or that kind of thing. No more working around. Uh, no more copying, pasting from other software. It's very, very straightforward. And I find that it's extremely fluent. And um, your transitions between languages are seamless too. Because if you're like me, you probably work in multiple languages and you are in and out of them constantly and so you don't want to set your computer just to one language all the time it's frustrating um, the way I have it set up works for me to switch back and forth between English and French um, with no trouble at all 
So here's how you do the igu or the uh, acute accent. What you'll do is you'll press and then release the apostrophe key, which is on the right uh, next to your enter key. And then you will um, press on the key which you need to put the accent onto. So I've chosen the E most of the times here because that's the most common one in French. Uh, but in Spanish, that might be an I or, a, or an A or all sorts of other letters. Um, and obviously, if you want it over a capital, uh, you're going to do a shift E. So apostrophe, E, or apostrophe, then let go of the apostrophe key, and then choose the letter you want to put the acute accent onto. So if you just want to type an apostrophe, you're going to need to press the apostrophe and then a space bar after the apostrophe to avoid putting an acute accent onto the next letter that you press. That's really the only small thing that, that you need to get used to with the US International Keyboard. And uh, you'll find that if you're writing in English, it usually figures that out for you automatically anyhow. So the Grave accent, um, straightforward, very much the same kind of thing. This time the Grave accent is in the top left hand corner. So press and release the grave or the tilde key, which is just below your escape key. You're going to release that key and then again you'll just select the letter that you want to put that accent onto. And if you want it capitalized, you'll do a shift E, for example. So again, circumflex accent, l'accent circumflex. Um, same deal. This time you'll notice it's above the six. If it, any of those uh, characters above your numbers are at the top of the keyboard, uh, you use a shift to get to those. So we do the same here with this accent. So you're going to press uh, both the shift and the six key together. Then you release them and you're ready to select the letter that you want to put your circumflex onto. Uh, often it's an E in French, but it, it could be an A or an O. It could be uh, Various different letters depending on the language you're using. Um, so, and again, you'll use a shift to get it onto a capital E, for example. Very straightforward. The tréma or the, the umlaut, uh, the two dots sort of um, above your letter, um, same deal. You're going to need to press both the shift and the apostrophe key together this time. So, it's your main keys to remember are the apostrophe key next to your enter and your tilde key just below the escape. So press uh, both the shift and apostrophe key together, then release them, and again, then select the key on which you want, or the letter on which you want to put your accent. Sedilla, or the little five underneath your C, um, is again your apostrophe key. So um, you're gonna select that, and then you're gonna press your C. If you want it on a capital, you will uh, capitalize it very easily by um, just doing a shift C instead. Um, very straightforward. So again, because it's on the apostrophe and you're not doing a shift or anything like that, uh, if you're typing in English or if you're doing a word like j'aime, for example, in French, the J apostrophe, uh, you'll need to do an apostrophe space to make that work out. Um, to do the guillemets or the French speech marks, those are your square brackets just above the apostrophe key. And um, this one's the, the only one that requires a bit of a key combination. Um, very straightforward. You're going to press and hold both the control and the alt key together. You're going to hold those and then you're going to select the um, left or the right bracket, square bracket, depending on which key you need to put in. Um, so very straightforward. It's, it's control and alt, hold those down, and then select the left or right key, whichever you need. If you're doing the le dans la, or the, the ligature, the AE um, in capital or in lowercase, this one's, uh, you need to use the right alt key just to the right of the space bar. And you're gonna hold it, and you're going to press the Z key. And that'll give you your ligature, and um, if you want it on a capital, obviously do the shift Z. Um, one strange thing about this is that even the French keyboards don't have the OE combination. Um, and um, I looked all over the place and couldn't find that. So if you can, please comment on it in the, in the, in the comments in the bottom. But as far as I can tell, um, the only way to get that is to do an insert or to um, do your, um, your alt codes or that kind of thing. So um, the alt code is uh, 0140. Um, and if you're used to doing accents, you know exactly how to use alt codes, I imagine. Um, cut and paste works as well, but um, seeing as it's extremely rare, it shouldn't be a big problem. 
if you're looking for a, a screenshot to print out or save as a cheat sheet to have next to your keyboard for a, a day or two as you get used to these, you could use this, uh, this screen to do that. Um, hopefully that will help you. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Please comment and like in, uh, in the box below. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, this is where you can reach me. And I uh, look forward to uh, being able to hear your comments of how you are now typing fluently in all sorts of languages. À la prochaine!